What kind of jobs are available to you after you qualify your USCPA? Is that the question bothering you? If yes, then this video belongs to you. But before we really go in there, let me introduce myself. My name is Pankaj Dhingra and I'm a proud friend trammer and a USCPA. Yes, my friend, this is one of the common questions that many of the students have in their mind because they really need to decide that should they be going for USCP or not. So we thought it is all the more a good reason for us to be here, to be here to talk on what kind of job opportunities are available for you. For you to really decide for any qualification, you really have to know what kind of job prospects you have. And, you know, USCP is no different there. You really have to understand the kind of job prospect the USCPA will bring on to yourself. And for that, there are various websites available. You can really go and refer in over there. What I, I thought is that, you know, we will have few things to be discussed in this video that would give you the full flavor of, you know, how the job market of USCPA looks like. So if you really have to uh, get an idea in terms of, you know, what a fresh or newly qualified US EPA would get in the market, there are various websites, you know, including the things like glassdoor.com or payskill.com. You can go in over there and check what the, uh, what is the average uh, salary of a fresh new, you know, newly qualified US EPA. And if you really, you know, scan through that, I can give you the figure you would find out that generally speaking, the salary of a fresher lands up in between eight to 12 lakhs kind of kind of a bracket in the INR, you know, I'm saying it more from the Indian context standpoint. And of course, the more you would, uh, you know, the more you would have the numbers, number of years experience, number of years of experience, the more salary you would have. So for example, you know, if you are a US CPA with a five to 10 years kind of a qualification experience, the number of years of experience, then your salary would be anywhere in the range of, let's say 15 to 25 lakhs, depending upon which company you're working for, depending upon which profile you're working in. And of course, depending upon what kind of uh, communication skills, the contribution that you're making to an organization. So the starting point is what kind of salary you can expect. And this is what I really wanted to start off with that if you really want to think about this, you can of course refer a few of the website that I just spoke. And of course, to get the feeler in terms of what you would get, the salary range for a fresher is of course in the range of eight to 12 lakhs of rupees. Now coming on to, you know, where can you find the jobs of, of US EPA? You know, any job site, if you really want to refer, you know, it, I'm, not, I'm just trying to, you know, uh, tell you the obvious because you may be already knowing these websites. You can go to knockery.com, you can go to Indeed, you can go to, in, in fact, you can go to Glassdoor, you can go to Monster, you can go to shine.com, you can also go to LinkedIn. And LinkedIn is my favorite for getting any of these kind of jobs because the kind of jobs that are available on LinkedIn are, are simply, simply outstanding because they are the uh, you know, the kind of quality jobs that you get on LinkedIn is some is, 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 is just distinguished from the other websites. So, you know, just go and check it out on LinkedIn too. You will get the jobs for USCP on all of these websites. So effectively, um, you know, you would see that um, and, and I'm just trying to give you a flavor in terms of, you know, how um, you would find these jobs. Any job of a chartered accountant that you would see on any of these websites now would have chartered accountant slash CPA written over there. So effectively, CPA is being asked in any and every organization that is looking for a chartered accountant, considering many of the organizations are now, uh, you know, multinational organizations. So you would find a CPA being required everywhere, if I may say that. Now, we have learned in terms of, you know, what kind of salary you would get in terms of average salary. We have learned where can you go and find out the job. Now, the thing is, what kind of role you would get when you have qualified the USCPA? If I really have to give you a flavor of that, considering US CPA covers the US gap, the US gas, you know, the, the overall uh, taxation for US, the kind of jobs are also very similar to the, the things that you've learned in, in the qualification. You would get a, uh, a, get a job in accounting, which is, you know, uh, financial reporting piece, controllers piece. You would get a job over here. You would get a job uh, let's say in the audit field, you would get a job in the taxation field, you would get a job in the consulting organization, you would get, get a job in the compliance organization, wherein you would be responsible for the compliance of, of, of the organization as a whole, including the SEC compliances and whatnot. 
So effectively use gap really opens up wide range of spectrum for yourself in terms of you really getting on to on, you know in all of those arenas be it consulting be it audit be it taxation be it accounting be it reporting be it planning and planning and analysis be it analysis as a function analytics as a function all of these organizations you know are offering um, the, the these kind of fields to you to really you know come and join them and of course you know if you really um, have some connects who have already who have already qualified their their CPA. You would find these guys working in in almost all of these fields. So that is again something that that you can vouch for. You know when I qualified US CPA, you know I was working in the accounting, the core accounting kind of a function. Then I moved on to reporting. Then I moved on to planning and analysis. After that I was I, I was heading the the controllership as a function. Then I moved as a head of finance handling you know all of the domains. You know. Taxation, audit, reporting, compliances, auditing, accounting, and whatnot, and so on and so forth. So it, it just depends, you know, in terms of which field you really get in and which organization you really join at that point in time. But all of these fields would be open for you. Okay, now we have covered, my friend, in terms of salary, we have covered in terms of where to really find a job, we have covered in terms of what kind of fields that will be open for you. Now comes which kind of companies are there to really, really hire you. So there are, you know, if, if you really have to circle back in terms of, you know, uh, the kind of companies that are looking for US CPA, the first thing, you know, that really comes to my mind, which is something very, uh, very close to my heart is that many of the Indian companies now, who, who since they have their base in US or, you know, some, some kind of compliance requirement in US, they're hiring US CPAs right here in India. So for example, when I was there with Wipro, you know, being an Indian company, that has a base you know in in us since it is us listed also they have to comply with various the sec norms and for that they really need a us gap uh, you know uh, knowing person over here and that's where you know i really helped them in terms of doing what they were doing at that point in time so the first uh, i would say uh, spectrum that really gets open for you is the indian companies having any kind of international exposure be it wipro be it infosys and so on and so forth Many of these companies have the international piece being attached to it and they would need US CPA. So that's the first piece of it. The second piece, you know, when or second organizations, kind of organization who would need US CPA are the big fours. Whether it is EY, KPMG, Deloitte's of the world, the PwC's of the world, they're really dealing with multinational clients in and out. Whether it is their accounting function, whether it is their reporting function, compliance function, taxation function and whatnot, they're dealing with these companies day in and day out and they really need qualified CPAs to really go and talk to the client, work with the client, do what they really need to ensure that the relevant compliances are being met, ensure that relevant audit practices are being taken care of, and so on and so forth. So second gate that really gets open for you is the big four gate. You can really, really um, get hired by any of the big fours. In fact, many of the big fours, they're training their own employees who are not US CPA. They're training their employees to really qualify for US CPA. So that's the second field. The third piece is, you know, any of the extended arm of the international companies, whether it is the normal industry, industry company or whether it is the, the banks. So you name any international bank, Bank of America, American Express, Royal Bank of Scotland, uh, Saxo Bank and so on and so forth. You name the banks, you know, all of these folks somewhat somewhere would have a requirement for a, a person who is internationally qualified with the degree like US CPA and so that they can really add value and of course bring value onto the table. Now this is the banking side of it. You would also have an investment banks, be it the, be it the Goldman Sachs, the Credit Suisse of the world, the UBCs of the world. You would also have the normal industry that has really opened up over here. The GEs of the world, the uh, you know the, the totals of the world. There are there are various brands who now opened up their their uh, you know functions over here in India you know or the or the uh, the businesses over here in India they also need you know people like you who are qualified US CPA to really be there and ensure that their compliances are really being met. You have to and and it is not difficult now to find which companies uh, are looking forward. If you just go and Google it out, you'll get nth number of companies really having a requirement of US CPA and you can really go and see through your eyes only. Now what is left is that there are there is another piece or there is another group of, of uh, organizations 
who are also looking for US EP and that is the offshore centers or global finance shared services centers right sitting out here in India. For example, just give me an example. I was part of BlackRock. BlackRock had a large finance shared service center in India. I was part of BCG, of course, in addition to the India business, BCG have a large global uh, business services centers, right, you know, sitting right here in India. Now, all of these centers, I'm just naming few, BlackRock, BCG, Cargill, you name it and, you know, you would find them now in India, you know, at various places. They also need the qualified CPAs to be there because they are dealing with the US entities day in and day out. So effectively the qualification like US CPA really opens up the gate for you to really get into various global organizations right sitting out here in India. And do not forget there is also an international opportunity that is available to US CPA and we'll be covering this in a separate video. We'll be talking on the kind of international opportunities that are available for you to be qualified as US CPA, what you really need to do in that, what kind of opportunities are there and so on and so forth. Wait for that, subscribe to our channel Fintram Global and you would get that video as and when that get released. Is that clear? Yes, I hope this video really uh, added some value onto yourself in terms of knowing what US CPA can bring to you in terms of fortune, in terms of job. And if yes, then I, I would request all of you to please subscribe the like button because that really motivates us that, you know, we are really be able to able to add some value onto yourself. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now, that's what I really wanted to cover in this video, my friend. I really, really wish you all the luck. There is a lot that we would do in the US CPA world together. You can, of course, reach out to Fintram Global for any of the queries if you have in relation to, you know, getting enrolled for the qualification. You know, Fintram Global is the, is the US CPA learning provider. And of course, you know, they can really help you in terms of, you know, what you really want to achieve. We are there to help and support you in the best possible way. Reach out to us. We will be helping you right from the registration to, to the evaluation and to the examination. Till then, this is Pankaj Dhingra, signing off.